Thank you for joining me today. My name is uh, Dr. Michael Samuel, and I am with the Retina Institute of California. Today we are going to be talking about new concepts in the management of age-related macular degeneration. Let's go ahead and begin. Macular degeneration, as we all know, is a degenerative retinal condition that causes central vision loss and blindness. As we also all know that this is the leading cause of blindness in older Americans, those greater than 50 years of age. There are some staggering statistics with this disease. About 7.3 million patients right now are in the early stages of macular degeneration. About 3.6 million have what we would call moderate to advanced macular degeneration, those with bilateral or large drusen. About 1 million people have geographic atrophy or very advanced macular degeneration. And about 1.2 million have wet AMD. This is pretty amazing. I mean, altogether, we're talking nearly 10 to 12 million people that are affected by this disorder. We're all familiar with the signs of macular de degeneration and the symptoms of macular degeneration. Those include reduced central vision, a central smudge, distortion, or decreased color vision. The epidemiology or prevalence of this disease is fairly well documented. There's been a number of multi um, center cohort studies that have given us the epidemiology somewhere around 1.7, 1.2%, somewhere in that range. The Beaver Dam Eye study showed about 1.7%. The Rotterdam study showed about a 1.2% prevalence in the population. This is really uh, an epidemic that is affecting this country. As I stated, it is the number one cause of elderly blindness in the United States. Back in 2005, almost 200,000 patients were blinded by this disease. And as the population continues to age, we expect that number to more than double. We know that new cases of wet macular degeneration are also becoming much more common than we had ever seen before. So I would classify AMD as a true epidemic in this country.